Hi, my name is Dr. Frank Silvestri, and I'm the Cardiovascular Disease Fellowship Program Director at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. We have an exciting new addition to our program, an expansion to create a clinical track for our cardiovascular disease fellows. You're going to hear a lot more about this clinical track in the video hosted by Dr. Rupalo Quinn, one of our associate program directors. We're really excited to undertake this expansion for fellows that are interested in three dedicated years of clinical cardiology training and whose primary interests are becoming outstanding clinicians and leaders in cardiovascular medicine. So without further ado, let me hand it over to Dr. O'Quinn, who's going to take you through the details of our newly minted clinical track for our Cardiovascular Disease Fellowship here at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. We can't wait to meet you during your interview and tell you more about this exciting new addition to our program, and we look forward to speaking with you about it more. Thank you. Starting in 2025, the Penn Cardiovascular Disease Fellowship will be launching a new clinical pathway that interested applicants can start applying for in 2024. In addition to the traditional academic fellowship, Penn is starting a three-year clinical cardiology fellowship track with the objective of training future outstanding clinicians, clinical researchers, and leaders in cardiology. The Penn Cardiovascular Disease Fellowship clinical track is for applicants that know that they want a career that focuses in clinical cardiology, have career interests that include clinical leadership, clinical innovation, clinical trials, and or quality improvement. Are hoping to learn more about the other outpatient practice sites and their business model in today's changing healthcare landscape, have no plans to pursue a T32 or another research training grant, and they also prefer to spend three dedicated years honing their general cardiology skills. I want to highlight that years one and two of Cardiology Fellowship will be similar in both pathways. Starting in 2025, all 12 fellows making up the traditional and the clinical track will be spending more time at Penn Presbyterian, or Penn Presby as it is more often called, for rotations that may not be offered or are different than the ones available at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. This means that the first two years will be nearly indistinguishable. Some examples of the rotations at Penn Presbyterian that all Penn cardiology fellows will encounter include an echocardiography rotation with a dedicated teaching attending each day during that first year of fellowship. Another example is a vascular medicine and surgery rotation during the second year of fellowship. Where that clinical track differs is that the clinical track fellows will spend their entire third year at Penn Presbyterian Medical Center. They will also have their continuity clinic at Penn Presby for all three years, which has already been a positive experience for some of the current traditional track fellows who presently have their clinic there. These fellows will also start an innovation project during their first year at Penn Presby and then have three years to complete it. During that third year, clinical track fellows will continue the three-year-long innovation project with a write-up and submission of the paper if this has not already been done. Fellows will also continue their continuity clinic weekly. This is the same for all fellows in both tracks. We will ensure that fellows achieve level three COCATS training in areas that they are interested in, such as echocardiography or nuclear medicine. We also have additional rotations of interest that they can rotate through, such as cardiothoracic surgery, during which they will go to the operating room with the surgeon and then follow that patient to the HVICU and subsequently to the floor. Other possibilities based on interest include rotations such as structural imaging, cardiac catheterization, electrophysiology, advanced heart failure, cardio-oncology. Truly, the possibilities are endless. And finally, we plan to incorporate lectures on the business of medicine and running multiple outpatient clinics in the community setting, which are the strengths of this group. There's more information on the website, so interested applicants should click around. They can also contact the Penn Cardiology Fellowship Director, Frank Silvestri, or me for further information. During that interview day at Penn, we will also be sharing more information about the clinical track and are happy to answer any questions that applicants may have. We really want that day to clarify which track would be better if everyone applying. We really hope to see you there.